Evening folks and welcome to this demonstration of my Casio CGW500 Cosmo Phase watch from the year 1990. Uh, so my regular viewers will notice that I've already done a demo of the resin cased version of this but this is a stainless steel version and uh, it's taken me about two years to get hold of one. Very difficult to come by um, but I'm very pleased to have got it. Functionally it's exactly the same as the CGW50 so the feature of it is that it has this orrery function which displays the position of the planets in the solar system. So I've set the alarm for 8.55 so we're about to see one of the animations that happens when the alarm goes off and what does happen is that uh, Halley's Comet shoots across the screen. So you can see it just going down there from uh, top to bottom there. That shooting star. So the other functions this watch has, um, there is a prediction mode for uh, position of the planets. There's also a demo mode which I'll just show you. The planets are showed by black dots with the exception of the Earth which is a black circle with a clear interior, Saturn which is a, has some rings around it and Jupiter which has uh, stripes on it to represent the cloud formations on Jupiter. The demo mode um, makes the, the sun flash and it advances the speed that the planets move because obviously in terms of on your watch face you know they take a very long time indeed to go around the sun. I think the, the fastest is Mercury which is, is it 22 days or is it 88 days? I can never quite remember. And Pluto is about three, just under 300 years so that is not going to move very much at all. So that allows you to see the planets in motion. Another way to see the planets in motion, if you go into the prediction mode, um, you, it can tell you what the position of the planets was in that period from 1901 to 2200, and you can select a date in two ways. You can do a sort of fast forward and reverse, so if you hold this button down it's advancing the date, and the longer you hold it the faster it goes, which is quite fun to watch. You can see the planets start to whiz around, and then really whiz around like that. And you can do the same in reverse. So just hold that button there, they're going backwards. But if you wanted to see the plan planetary positions for a particular date, then that would be quite tricky to, to get it to stop at the right place. So you can use the adjustment to set a particular date. I'll just set it back to the right year. You can set the date and the month as well. So that yeah, that shows you the position of the planets for any given time. Pressing that again returns you to the normal time mode and the next mode I'm going to show you is uh, a mode that shows Halley's Comet uh, dates of closest approach. So again in the time period 1901 to 2200 it starts, at, there was one in 1910, one in 1985, another in 1986 where it passed close to the earth on 1985, went round the sun and then passed the earth again in 1986. Uh, 2061 will be the next one juice that we'll see and then 2134. The other thing it does is if you press the adjust button here oh, not quite working. there we go it's changed from HAL to SE there and it's predicting uh, solar eclipses that's what the SE stands for so the next one is due in 2015 and after that one in 2016, 2017, 2019 so yeah, it's predicting the occurrences of solar eclipses. Let's put it back to Halley mode. And then pressing that again will return us to normal time mode. So I'm just going to demonstrate how the countdown timer works at this juncture. I'm jumping forward a bit. So I'm just going to start that going and explain something else in the meantime. So the watch has got, this is the alarm mode. There are five different alarms. That button turns them on and off, and you've got one, two, three, four, five. And as well as the time, you can, that's the hourly chime, you can also set, if you choose to, a date as well. So you can set appointments or anniversaries, that sort of thing. So it's quite a useful function. I'll just get you back to the countdown timer mode. Oh, we've got ages to go yet, haven't we? <laughs> I'll show you the stopwatch mode. So you've got a line of planets there. And as you start and stop the stopwatch, there you go, whizzing round. Oh, 
I'll just unsplit there and I stop it and reset it. Just get back to the countdown timer mode. And when it gets to zero, it'll do a nice little animation for us. There we go, with the planets spreading out from the middle outwards. Return us to main time mode. So that's it. The Casio CGW500, the metal case Cosmo phase. A real rarity, but an absolute delight to have. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Cheerio.